Alright, we're back at it again, playing Svetoras. And today, guys, I want to kind of uh, embark on an adventure talking about chess psychology. And the first thing you gotta know is you first wait before you make first move, and at some point when you're ready, you make that move. Just to back out to your opponent. So, <clears throat> that's part one. And your opponent is then just blitzing out his moves, thinking he has a lot more time, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. The second part, which a lot of people don't handle well, is when they see opening surprises and they stop thinking for a little bit. So that's basically five. That's something not uh, not what a lot of people play. And again, he is out of theory. I, I can assure he is out of theory. And he just plays a move without thinking. In this case, it's a good move. Knight of three is a good move. He develops a knight. But what I see is um, let's just put some audio in it. That he is out of theory. <laughs> That's nice. Usually, queens gambit. You know, you have this. But uh, okay. What we also don't have to forget is that. In the end, it's what the moves that count, so let's play accurately from now on. So we have d5, striking in the center, having a symmetrical pawn structure, but we also have takes. Uh, we take... Again, you see that our opponent is blitzing out moves, right? So you can kind of sense what your opponent is doing at the moment. He's like, okay, I have the time advantage. I'm not going to think too much about my moves. Um, yeah. And from now on, we just play chess. So e4 is on my mind, knight f3, knight c6. You can also play knight b3, then here. And it kind of feels like we kind of are playing a Sicilian, actually. It's almost like a Sicilian, where e4 is not played, but this has already been uh, if you don't know what I mean the zone structure I cannot explain it where you take a pawn on d4 it's an open Sicilian he has a pawn on e5 something like that but uh, yeah okay let's just continue let's play a super tricky move we are in his head in his head I back you I bet we are in his head and he's gonna be super confused when he sees this move e4 What's the point? What is the point? He was expecting d6, so I can attack him. But now, I'm not attacking him, am I? You're wrong. Because psychology goes hand in hand with uh, being super tricky. <laughs> Where if a, your opponent is super confused, he will stop looking at the meaning of your moves, e5. And the whole point of e5, e4 was to open this up. So there's a line, an open line towards this. And can we make use of this open line? Yes, we can. In Sicilian, the queen has this check on a5. And after knight c3 or bishop d2 or queen a2, we take up the knight. And I stopped calculating from there. So, yeah. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how I got to 1800 in the beginning. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, it's not, you know, the most honorable way to get 1800. And I stopped doing it. Uh, but, you know, if you do get to 1800 and you do, you know, mess with your opponent a bit and it's kind of enjoyable sometimes. Okay, let's be careful here, by the way. As we, after we take this knight, yes, bishop e5. Attacking this. Let's not forget we had played chess. But then we have this. Just stopping it. And we also have d6. Afterwards. So let's just take. Also if he goes immediately for this. We can just go takes right. Yeah fair enough. So if he goes back. We can play bishop e4. And. Um, yeah. Again. With psychology. When you have a very obvious move. And it's very obviously winning. This is not the case. We are winning, but it's not very obviously how. 
and we wait a little bit, our opponent might resign. Also, when we think long, our opponent might resign, but not to the point where we are in time trouble. This maybe should be four. And our position is just great. It's great. It's a great, the greatest position alive. Why do I do Trump things? It's it's a bit, you know, out of time. And now that we are up a piece, which has happened a lot over the last um, videos, <clears throat> it's very easy to just sit back and relax, but we can also just take here and just, you know, try to simplify. Okay, we did do this because I'm not obliged to do it right now because the knight cannot get away. But on the next, very next move, when he castles, I will definitely take. And it's just two things. We simplify. And we ruin his bomb structure. Which is actually quite debatable. But sometimes, in the English opening, this is very good. But since we're up a piece, it's not good. So now we castle. The castle doesn't blunder anything. This pawn is okay. Let's go here. And I want to sneeze. I want to sneeze. Oh, Manus. Manus. Manus? Manus. Okay. Bishop d6. To the credit of our opponent. Good move. He wants to play c5. And I have a bishop just stuck there. Not willing to bend. Very good move. I have to say. So we have a problem with this bishop. We also have this rook is attacked. We can just sidestep it. Rookie. Rook e8, c5, b6, um, rook b8, 1, uh, bishop here, I guess, takes, 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 okay, that was not good, I had blundered the pawn, but we can also play rook d8, which is better, it's hard to say, because rook d8 has the idea of going knight e8. But what am I doing then? Look at my position, so passive. Okay, let's hear rook eight. It might not be the best move. But this is the move we're playing. And after c5, we play b6. Opening up the bishop, giving our bishop some hope and some scope. So he plays f6. Sorry, f3. Cannot count. f takes, he takes like this. Makes sense. Um. He has an open line. It's a very a bit annoying. So let's just drop the queen back. And if he takes, we take with this. He has to protect. No, he doesn't have to protect it. The queen is protecting it. My throat hurts from all the talking. I'm not going to say anything for the next minute. So now, we are iron down this pawn, and anytime we take, take, we do have a very loose piece there. I'm just going to take here, knowing this will be a very long term weakness. And after this move, I will even happily go, we can go b6, we can go knight e4. I think it's best to, hmm, we are attacking this with knight e4 let's say queen c2 and what's the point then well we can take here we are also attacking this pawn i think knight here is actually good because sometimes you know things happen we're also trying to take here his best piece and b6 is coming afterwards because this takes my here my plan is two moves here and maybe this or here here and I'm not sure if it works. Here I'm just sure I put a knight on a very good square. So that should be just good. 
let's see, can I put in some music for myself without, yes, okay, nice. So I'm just gonna turn down the volume of desktop audio and then put in some music. Okay, that's great. All right, for you guys, you didn't see anything. For me, I uh, put in some music for myself. Problem taking a long time. I think, like, if I have to judge from the way I have been playing, because I've been playing on the psychology part, um, he's either thinking or he isn't. He is actually thinking. Queen d3, good move. I say that, but I don't mean it. If knight takes on d6 immediately and he takes with the pawn, we have this. So let's say he takes with the queen, takes, takes, and we have uh, just a good position. We can also just wait, play b6, and if it takes, we can take here. If he plays rook b1, we can just take. Yeah, I think b6 is the right way to go, because this is just tricky, if, but everything is winning here, just to be clear. But this would definitely be the tricky one. But then queen takes, 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 this is actually kind of annoying. So I don't want, I just want to get rid of this one first. If I play this immediately, you could just take, take. So that's why I play b6. And in the chess club, you have a few people playing on psychology. Like some people play very fast theory and, you know, expect you to fall under the pressure. Some people just intimidate you with punching the clock very hard. And you have to be very aware of those things. And in a way, doing that is like a trick in itself, right? You have tricky moves, but you also have um, tricks like that. All right, so he wants to exchange queens. And after we exchange queens, he has an attack here. So he's still very much in, a, in the mode of making good moves. So let's take this thing. And if he takes... We take back. We can also develop the bishop, but the bishop doesn't really have a role. Yes, it sits very nicely here and it's x ring this, but it takes at least three moves to execute something like this and to attack the knight, uh, the rook, right? So this can wait. This is not yet in any danger. If, I, if you take, he has to react. He takes, you can take. Then he mates us. That's not good. If take, he takes. And then we play knight e5. Bishop no longer guarding this because it's no longer there. And then he's forced to take. And then we take here. We check. He has to recapture. And then we take here. And we have even more material. But wait. Let's not stop calculating there. After takes, takes, knight here. Take. Take, take, take. Yes, take here. I lose the rook. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, and I'm getting low on time. So what do I do? What do I do? And if we go here, do nothing. Take, take, eh. He's actually putting pressure on me. I'm quite impressed. We also have this. 
So instead of this as a plan, we have this as a plan, and it's exactly the same. And after he takes, we take like this, we check, he takes back, but now the knight is protecting this rook in a way, and then we take it back. This is nice with music, and you guys don't hear my bad taste in music. And it must be very boring for you guys, but for me, good stuff. If he didn't play b6, there would not be, there wouldn't even be this weakness. Maybe b6 was not a good move. But we'll see after the game. Chat is this. So he has to take. We take with check, as previously discussed. Takes. Takes! Oh! Drops the knight. We take with the rook. Or we take with the pawn. Nah. We'll take with the rook. Bishop a6. Rook e8 is the plan. Looks very simple. Simple is good. Alright, he wants to go here. Attack this. Attack this. So. We do have to think. We go here. Stop that idea. We can also go here. Attacking a rook. Can also take here, but let's be just very. We're up a piece. We're up. What are we up? A full rook, right? All we have to do now is not to allow him to checkmate me, and this allowing this sort of shenanigans is a one-way trip to hell. So we're not doing do that. Let's take. We're now threatening to take this one. Also threatening a6. And then maybe place it somewhere there. Okay, that's actually a good move. And again, he's threatening something like this. Oops. Um, you can just go here. If it goes here, we take like this. If it plays g4, that's actually quite nasty. Go here. I don't know. It's gonna go here. Maybe it was best to go here. Takes, takes. So his bishops are out, which is the whole problem now. He has a mate. Oh my god. Almost allowed mate as well. All we have to do is not allow mate when, and we almost allow mate. Or are we allowing mate? Takes here. Goes there. Okay, let's just take here. I don't know. I'm panicking. Bishop takes. Look here. Takes. Takes. Check. Oh my god. Wow. What did I do? Oh my god, I just allowed checkmate. <sighs> uh, 
depressing. That's a nice checkmate. I didn't even see that. Bishop d5. Rook e6 was the best move. Oh. And allowing him to take, but we're good. We're good. And I was so focused on material that I... Yeah. Takes an f7. There's probably one move which doesn't do us. King h8. Yeah. Needed some more time to think, I guess. So yeah, that was very bad execution. Uh, I, I guess that's just karma. We lost this one. I did very much miss that mate. That's a very nice mate, actually. Wow. All right. Back to uh, some rating points, but it's okay. I think we played this very nicely. After going here, e5, e4 was probably not the best move, but it was a very tricky one. It was a very bad move actually. Bishop d ninety six is already annoying after takes takes. And if go here, just developing. You cannot castle yet. Wow, this is very annoying. Yes, this is really good for whites. It, I made a very stupid move, but he fell for my psychological tricks. We played this very nicely we, the only problem is that we allowed this which is not a problem in itself but yeah 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 knight there takes check there take and we have some problems developing so maybe ba bishop a6 was best I reacted, but bishop a6, I was scared for bishop d5, or after this, here, then bishop d5. But apparently we can allow whatever to happen, whatever, because we're still up a piece, even if we give up the exchange. So yeah, that was very, very bad of me. I should stop playing like a 1400. But this is what it is. See you guys next time.